Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by AquaTuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. So strap in with Jay's Two Cents as he takes you on a wild ride through CES 2014. Hey guys, Jace Two Cents here, hanging out at the AMD suite, or AMD tent here at CES 2014. Uh, you guys have been asking me a lot about Kavari and what it's all about. Well, I am sitting here right in front of the AMD A10 7850K, which is an R7 GPU or APU-based uh, Kavari APU. Now, they're running Civilization V right here on this system, and I made sure that there were no shenanigans pulled. There is no graphics card in this system. It's running 100% off of an APU, but at a 3600 by 1920 rev resolution. Now, you guys know Civilization V can be a little bit intensive on the graphics, but when moving around here, zooming in, zooming out, moving through the different worlds and stuff, this is extremely smooth, and this is pretty much an extreme situation. I mean, a lot of people would never dare put three monitors on an APU, but that's exactly what you have right here, and it's very, very smooth. Uh, Kavari, guys, you guys also asked me about AMD and PCI 3.0, and you guys want to know, well, when is AMD going to support PCI, uh, PCIe 3.0? Well, Kavari does. It's an FM2 socket, which is the newer of the FM sockets, and it does support PCI Express 3.0. Now, we have no uh, definitive answer on what's going to happen with AM3 Plus socket or whether or not it's going to be phased out or evolved upon. So you guys are just going to have to wait for future uh, announcements from AMD and what they plan on doing with that. But definitely consider Kavari for your future builds. The APU is plenty strong, the CPU is plenty strong. And if you guys just uh, are interested in building a low profile or maybe a Steam box or, or whatnot, you can see here it is, very, it is very, very smooth. In fact, I'm lost now. I don't even know where the world went. So, but anyway, uh, guys, make sure you check out the Kavari if you're looking at building an AMD system. As always, make sure you're following on Twitter so you don't miss any of our CES 2014 coverage. And as always, I will see you in my next video.